Set it out in a certain way, hopefully. Yeah. Obviously, these are my tools, my scales, and my gauge, and my calibrator for my scales, and uh, my loom. And um, some of these coins people have seen. Um, obviously, yeah. Uh, showed off a video of my dragons the uh, other day and um, let's try and have a so these are obviously the Ukraine um, lunars with uh, gemstones for the eyes and very nice coins and then I've got the Singapore dragon which is a copro nickel coin and uh, then on to the UK stuff, the um, Isle of Man reverse proof. And uh, I had an interesting email um, today from Popjoy. This will be the last uh, uh, reverse proof, the Isle of Man. Um, Pop joy, you're no longer going to be making the Isle of Man coins because they're cutting back or something on, and um, so this will be the last angel reverse proof. So, uh, yeah, heads up on that one. So, we've got the Polish ghetto coin, celebrates 65 years of. Uh, Ghetto, I really do like this coin and um, something different. Then, uh, on to the UK lunars, and these are my free handling coins that I you know, so they're kind of tarnishing a bit all on their own, and uh, yeah, so I was into these. Uh, Lunas, these were the first things that really got me started into stacking, but um, I'm kind of getting out of them. So, uh, these ones I'm selling at the moment due to the price rise, and people have seen the patinaed ones, the monkey that I uh, did an experiment on, and um. These are the ones that I'm uh, keeping for now. So, um, quite nice. All the same. So, yeah. Got nice in this light now. Get a bit of focus. And um, definitely an improvement. These ones aren't too bad. And then we got the um, the proofs, which I really do like the year of the sheet design on this one with the extra on the top, and then year of the horse. And um, so yeah, that's it for my UK coinage. I haven't got yeah. much at all yeah. really. Yeah. Congo gorillas. I've uh, done a video on so. Got uh, 11 of those and the price went up, so I'm not getting any more right now. And um, sold a couple of things this week out of my stack. So then we've got the uh, Congo, sorry, the uh, Somali elephants. 20. 16, I think. Was it 2016? No, 2013, that one. 
So they're all from 2013 to 2016. Some are the elephants. Some are yeah, cell. And others um, are yeah, keep. Which uh, seem to be a good, really good coins. So then on to my uh, Mexican pesos. Which uh, I really like these as well. And everything in my stack is stuff that I like as well. And um, so quite a few different types of pesos and years. So I do have three of the uh, 1968 Olympics, um, two Guatemocs, 1947. Um, one of them, which is the lower mintage years, and the other ones are 1948. So, uh, quite a few different ones. Then I've got some more boom pesos there. Obviously, the, this was the first peso that I uh, picked up. And uh, it's all quite good detail on it, you know. So... And I really do like the Mexican coins. So we have the, uh, the 1990 Onza and the Enigma Limit Libertad, uh, one Onza proof, and then the 2011 five coin set, one ounce. Half ounce, quarter, tenth, and a twentieth of an ounce, I think. I think so, yeah. Yeah, we have the Koru. Which is a lovely coin. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. There we go. Koru. Mexico. Or however you pronounce it. Nice coin there, and then we've got the lotus flower, and oh, there we have the, the dragon dance, there we go, what a lovely coin, I really do like this coin, so small, but the detail is to uh, more Canadian coins, obviously, the, uh, the lunar dragon, and the maple leaf forever. Go, okay. maple leaf forever. It comes in this little uh, package. So quite a nice, well, only maple leaf. Got a few American coins. Not much, but it's a start and. Quite nice detail on them. So, the Franklin half dollar. Very nice coins. And um, the 1964 Kennedy. And um, the 1964, um, is it Rosenvelt or Washington? Whichever one. Yeah, that's Rosenvelt. So, that's a Washington, yeah. And um, a dime, whichever way around it is. But I haven't got any smaller capsules yet. I'll just put them into the small ones just to so I can bang into other stuff. And um, I've got the cougars, still got the cougars, and the polar bear. A lovely coin as well. But only, uh, I think, 50%, 500 silver. But uh, so we have the cougars, which uh, did have some spotting issues, but uh, nevertheless, I've uh, haven't got them queen side up for a reason. So the next one is one of my real nice coins that I do like, and um, yeah, it's the. Um, was one of the first bullion coins I got and um, it was in my 50 ounce that I sold them because it didn't really meet what I was 
doing and thought the money could be used elsewhere so let me just stick it on pause for a second and I'll take this uh, water off the top because they're like kind of under the blue you see so uh, hold up bear with yeah so um, I took the uh, lid off yeah so just popped it up a little bit because there's the glare in the light but I do like uh, some of the gold gilded coins but uh, I did like this design and I wanted to replace the two ounces that you know I like the weight of them the thing but with this double tacky and uh, there she is but so yeah onto the Fiji dragon and they did do some nice coins Fiji and um, intend to get some more at some point so then we have the uh, yin and yang the snake still haven't managed to pick up a dragon yet but uh, you know maybe I have to give that one a miss for now because they are a lot more expensive than these and um, I do like these coins but uh, maybe something I'll flip and um, so on to the Perth Mint is a half half ounce colorized proof there we are here is the snake half ounce and uh, in half ounce capture so then there's a one ounce proof very nice coin so the perf mint and um, you know it is a preference of mine so then we've got a one ounce gold gilded snake and a one ounce gold gilded dragon and a half ounce colorized dragon lunas you're the dragon you're the snake, but they're the uh, lime privies, the snakes, and the horses, both the uh, lime privies. So, my uh, goat and a monkey. I have a, an, and a special um, gold gilded kookaburra. And, uh, very nice uh, coin indeed. I do like this, but you know, it may be something that I may consider selling for the right price, you know, but I don't know. As I said, I buy things I like, and you know, some I sell and some I keep. So, you know, it is quite a high premium item. So, you know, I could make a bit profit and then turn it into kind of more lower premium silver sometimes and um, so obviously I really do like the kookaburras and um, one of my favourites so the high reliefs in these you know, one day I hope to be able to get the five ounce proof coins and um, we've got the 2016 kookaburra proof which does have a slight issue um, of clouding here so not everything's perfect from the uh, perf mint there are the odd small little issues but on a whole you know out of all the things that I've got from the perf mint that's the only one really with a problem. the five kookaburras that I bought the other day um, as I do have obviously the new 
ounce, one ounce, and a two ounce, 2008. And it's interesting because the 2008 mintages on these two ounces are about like 20,000 or something, you know, as opposed to 300,000 on that. So these two ounces do carry uh, quite a premium. And um, I managed to pick it up at a real good price, I think. So there's always a uh, scope somewhere to make a profit or get a coin that you really like at a good price. So I do have these um, kookaburras from 2011, which I put together kind of sets and sometimes and sell sets like these together rather than separately. Same with the um, Somali elephants. Um, I was selling like sets of those, but I uh, just got the uh, mainly the 13s left spare now that you know, because as I said, some I keep, but I can still get hold of these uh, ones at quite a good price. And they are just some of the best designs that Perth Mint have uh, come out with. So my favourites. So yeah, so on to the gold. So we've seen the uh, gold dragon proofs before in my last video. But uh, spectacular little coin one tenth of an ounce there and uh, I've got another one so uh, I have two of these as I said because uh, they still they had them at the Perth Mint this year a few left um, at the same price as the monkey and uh, you got free shipping if you spent over 400 um, Australian dollars, so uh, I bought one to flip and one to keep because I do collect the dragons and um, you know I tend not to sell the dragons but uh, I have listed this one to uh, put on maybe because I did pick it up at a good price and I think I can you know, pick up a, just a raw one at some point. But as I said, I do have the one tenth ounce. And then the other lovely things I have are these gold kookaburras from the uh, 2009 set. This was the first one that I bought. Um, and then the seller listed some more and... Um, so I uh, couldn't really buy any more than I did, but I was a bit selective and um, decided to pick up the ones that I thought were the best kind of. They're all proofs. quite small so there we go Put them with the over the map the map of Australia and then the other one is quite noticeable everyone knows this one the anniversary the anniversary um, 2009 or was it and then we got the Kookaburra sitting on the fence which is one of my favourite designs and I would like to get one of the silver but sort of other things have to come first and you just can't get everything all at once so yeah that's probably the best uh, angle so uh, yeah and then Obviously, that's the gold two 
2008. That's what happens with the camera sometimes, but uh, yeah, all's good. So yeah, that was my five kookaburras there. Yeah, one twentieth of an ounces. So that's um, virtually half an ounce of gold. So um, yeah, so it's been six months stacking. And um, another thing I have is I have a few kind of coins that are from circulation that I found. 50p's with different things on the back and um, obviously my lucky sixpence but it's not silver I have a few coupon coins with different pictures and stuff that I see on the back I think oh I want to get those and soon they're going to be bringing out uh, getting rid of the round pound so um some of these pound coins may become rarer because they'll be out of circulation so um the different designs on the back and stuff that you can get that they have had over the years for the pound will soon be gone the round pound so um yeah so i do have a few more of different designs and stuff but just interesting the different coins and the backs and obviously these ones are sort of a more limited because uh, they only put out so many a year and they have like a standard design but uh the 50 p's are the same but the pound coins they just do a different sort of thing every year and um, so these are the ones I've found in my uh, wallet. So um, yeah, so altogether, um, I'm not sure how much, but obviously I think I've got like half an ounce of fractional gold. Um, and I've got <laughs> quite a few uh, proofs. and stuff so I haven't actually tallied up how many ounces I actually have but um, I imagine it's getting on for a hundred ounces now at least 80 or you know but uh, yeah so not bad, I think, in six months.